Hey everybody, this is Captain Yeet here for you for Street Fighter 6 pre-order trailer talk. So let's get into it. In this pre-order trailer, we got to see DJ, Manon, Marsha, and JP gameplay. And we also get the release date for Street Fighter 6 2023. Next year, obviously, we knew that. And it's going to come out June 2nd. We got to see some pre-order. Sorry. I'm mixing myself. I got my headphones on. I got the Game Awards right here. They just sold off the pre-order trailer during the Game Awards. I don't want to miss the Game Awards, but I got it playing on my phone. So it playing in my ears messing me up a little bit. By the way, in this uh in this pre-order trailer, like I said, we get to see some gameplay of DJ, Manon, Marsha, and JP. And it looks really cool. We also get to see some more gameplay of the single player world tour mode. And we get to find out that you can actually have some of the Street Fighter characters like Kimberly or Ryu come in and help you fight. And we can get to see some extra game modes you can play around. Other than that, the rest of it was just the gameplay of the characters. And they look really fun. Actually, let me make sure my TV is down. <laughs> and before I start, before I forget, it's like this ongoing joke with me and my nephew. Because the Street Fighter 6 uh, roster got leaked. So we have to see the character design for everybody. And I kept telling my nephew I look just like DJ because of my hair. Because his hair is like really in the, what was it, Street Fighter 4 when he was first, in, I don't think he was first in, introduced to Street Fighter 4, but that's where I know him from. In Street Fighter 4, he had like two long braids of dreads. But in this game, his hair is like all the way out and it's crazy looking like mine. So I'm like, yo, I'm him. He was like, nah, you don't look like that Captain Yee. I'm like, you know, he's like, you don't get the muscles and stuff like him. I'm like, okay, I don't get the muscles, but I get the hair. So I'm basically DJ, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, look, his hair is like all out and crazy. Just like mine, look at this. <laughs> we get to see DJ in some gameplay. We get to see the avatar looking kind of weirded out. And, you know, I mean, you can see it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, kind of. <laughs> I mean, I, like I said, it's really, for me, I just said it's the hair. Other than that, yeah, I'm, you know, I don't have the muscles or anything like that. But the hair, yeah, I got it. Anyway, here's some gameplay. Of the, uh, the single player mode, uh, world tour mode of the single. Uh, sorry, I'm mixing myself up because of the thing. But like I said, you get to see some random Street Fighter characters come in and help you fight them. What well, looks really cool. Get to see some extra game mode of him chopping up some bottles and another one of him playing basketball. Well, he was, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you got to block it into that. And we got to see, I think C is Manon, C is Marsha, and then we know JP. He's the guy with the psycho power. And then we, we saw DJ, obviously. We went black screen for a moment, and then we get to see a really good-looking cutscene of JP talking about how he was trying to find a vessel for this power. And then we just cut away to the gameplay. So I don't know what you know, the vessel is supposed to mean. I think a lot of people are saying, it, this, isn't, this isn't me, a lot of people are saying that um, apparently in M. Bison's backstory, there was like this dude he was teaching him. Well, there was a guy teaching M. Bison, like, psycho power. And this dude taught three people, and Bison and two other people. We don't know who the two other people are even to this day. Some people are theorizing that JP might be the other student that was alongside and Bison back in the day when he was learning psycho power. So maybe he's trying to figure out how to use psycho. Oh, well, he already knows. He always if that theory is right. Uh, maybe he's just trying to find another body for a psycho power to be in because I think M. Bison was doing that too. Maybe because he looks, JP looks kind of old. He got gray hair. He looks pretty old. You see the wrinkles. So maybe he's trying to find a new vessel for him. Maybe one of the three fighter characters. Like, yeah. Maybe like Ren. I mean, not Ren. Ken or Ryu. He's like, yeah, maybe they'll be good for a new vessel for this power. If not, then I don't know that what I'm talking about. And I'm sounding really stupid. <laughs> but, you know, but it was like really interesting what he said about how he had to find a new vessel for this power. And now we can get into the gameplay. My bad, something just popped up. Oh, Street Fighter just did a. <laughs> they just they just made a tweet about the different editions. Okay, I can put that in the video now. Uh, I don't want to go away from this, but you get the standard edition, which is the full game. You got the deluxe edition, which is the game in one year character pass, and you got the ultimate edition, full game, uh, year one ultimate pass. Okay, it probably goes in more detail about what it is, but I don't want to cut away from the game award, so I try to pull it up on the side so I can tell you guys more about it. Uh, anyway, let's get into the gameplay. <laughs> let's get into the gameplay right here. You get to see my boy DJ. I love the gameplay for DJ Manon. Okay, so yeah, she was Marsha. I like her grab. Her grab, she grabs you, pushes you down, and goes boom. She hits you so hard. And we have to see a little bit of the ultimates too. Look at DJ, my boy. I'm telling you, he looks like me. 
a little bit. He looks like he's just a little bit. Look at that. <clears throat> just straight into the ground. I love the gameplay, man. Especially JP. His moveset looks really cool. Manon's ultimate looks really cool. Where she like starts the ballerine ballerina dance with you a little bit. JP's gameplay looks really nice with the music notes coming up, like you see here in a minute. And JP's ultimate that you get to see a little snippet of, where he like has a bunch of spikes on Ken that makes them explode. I mean, that looks cool. And also, these maps look beautiful. I did get spoiled on it literally like five minutes before the game awards. Well, maybe not. Maybe like an hour before. I went on Twitter because Street Fighter Six has been trending for like the past like couple of hours, and I every time I click on Street Fighter Six, it's like the exact same thing over and over. I'm like, man, this is interesting. So I clicked on latest, and it sold screenshots of everything we're seeing right here. Oh man, I got spoiled. By the same time, I was happy. We got to see DJ. But <laughs> you know, I mean, y'all saw that scene when he was like punching Kimberly, and he landed. He was like, just laying down. <laughs> oh, look at that. Come on, you can see it a little bit. You can, you can see it a little bit. Anyway, here's what we get to see in the regular edition. This box art, I'm not feeling it too much. I'm not, I'm not really feeling this box art too much. Here we go. I mean, this is the box art that we're going to see for every edition. I'm, I'm really not feeling it. Um, oh, I'm not really playing. My bad. And we get to see a pre-order uh, version. Well, once you get in the pre-order, some colors for all the characters right here. Well, it says... Uh, outfit one color 10. I guess it's like multiple different colors and stuff. And that's about it. What I got for you guys today. I guess let me pull up the game awards on the side. I can keep watching this and I'll click on the tweet that they made to see if there's any more information about the different editions. Probably, probably the prices. Yeah, probably the prices. I did sign up for the Street Fighter 6 beta. Hopefully, I get in. Hopefully, because I really do want to play that. Uh, let me see right here. Uh, no, it's everything I just said right here. That's basically everything. Oh, wait, it's also something else. It's also some figures in the game. That looks okay. Yeah, that's that's about it. That's all I got for you guys today. So, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all later. I thank you all for watching. I thank you all there for being one of human beings. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Sorry, I didn't get to talk about in detail about the ultimate that we saw for a little bit because. I'm trying to like listen on the game more because if another game pops up, I gotta talk about. It. I gotta hurry up and do the exact same thing and talk about it. So, I'm so sorry. But you you saw how really cool those moves were though. I mean, you guys really saw how cool those moves were with Manon like making you dance like a ballerina. You saw uh, Marcia just going stupid on. She's like bulky. <laughs> I didn't like her character design in the leak, but she looks like in gameplay. It looks decent. It looks really decent in gameplay. Uh, also, DJ, like I said, is boxing Kimberly up and landing and smiling. And JP had all those spikes and then boom. I mean, that dope. <laughs> I mean, that, that is really dope. All right, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.